Hello, with me today I have Thomas McMahon, uh, Investment Trust Research Manager at Kepler Trust Intelligence. Hi Thomas. Hi Lee. Uh, good to see you again. Um, Scottish Mortgage remains one of the most popular and widely held investment trusts. 2022 was, was a tough year and the share price halved in value. What's gone wrong and, and what's your view on prospects for 2023? Well, everything's gone wrong, really. I mean, the you know the fun the fundamental thing. I think I think is well known that interest rates have ha have been increased faster uh, and further than expected, and that means that companies which whose valuation is dependent more on earnings further into the future have been hit the most. And Scottish Mortgage has a lot of those type of companies. So that you know that's the key reason. I think what's been unfortunate for them is that things that might in other environments have been diversifying exposures haven't really worked so they've built up a significant exposure to China uh, and China's had its own problems so that's that's hurt them you know in, in another environment you can imagine where the China exposure might have offset some of the US tech exposure but it hasn't worked out that way concerns around regulation and heavy-handed interference in in China concern you know, global political concerns and then concerns about lockdowns in, in China continuing all these reasons mean that Chinese stocks have come under pressure as well so you know, nothing's really gone right for them this year. In terms of sort of looking forward, I think I wouldn't expect an immediate reversion to 2019-2020 returns, where you know, it was a stellar performer. Uh, there's obviously some, a lot of things need to be worked through the portfolio. So, um, you know, I, I don't think investors should uh, should expect um, to see that, those types of returns necessarily again. But it's true that. Uh, you know, it, it has sold off a lot, and um, at a certain point, that that becomes interesting. Yeah, I mean, with the share price at the moment, it's it's hit a hit a level. It's bounced, and we, we as you say, we're not seeing that that massive sort of recovery. It's it's, yeah. it's it's very steady, perhaps a sideways movement. If anything, is is there anything in twenty twenty three that that could trigger a bigger Sort of uh, um, recovery than than perhaps you anticipate. In currently. Scottish mortgage, yeah. Well, I th yeah, I think if you know if rates are cut earlier and, and more than expected, then I d I do think there will be um, a massive decrease in pressure uh, on on the ratings of its growth stocks. And I think you know the, the other th element is the Chinese exposure. So at the moment, you know, time we're speaking, there's ongoing unrest in China around lockdowns and uh, and so on uh, not particularly positive but you know over 2023 this is a long period of time China finds a way to deal with COVID uh, if the Communist Party is a bit more light to touch with regulation and so forth you, know, you can see it's surprises really that would cause an, an outsized rally I think so is the good news even even better than expected in those directions? That would be what would cause it, I suppose. But I think you know we're we're in a different environment now, so rates are going to be, in my in my view, I can't see the future. Rates are going to be higher than uh, than they were pre-pandemic for all of 2023 and probably some time longer. So it's a different environment. I wouldn't expect exactly the same level of out, out performance. But what about its uh, its exposure to unlisted companies? Are you comfortable with the that exposure currently? Uh, well, that's that's an area of uncertainty, I think. So, you know, if you're looking for other reasons for for an outsized jump in a, in a share price, it would be clarity on on that sort of issue. So, it's something that needs to be worked through. You know, we've we discussed private equity, um, similar issues in alternative asset space. With these things are valued with a lag, so investors will will apply a greater discount until they see where where the land lies, so to speak. So that's another potential source of, of recovery if the news is good. But equally, the, the valuations can be written down more than people expect. You know, it's, it's a double-edged sword. So there's a reason that um, the trust has been trading on a discount. Thomas McMahon, Investment Trust Research Manager at Kepler Trust Intelligence. Thank you very much for joining me today. Pleasure.